The people, man. The fucking noise. Go out and first song, and it's just fucking. And you just. I mean, what else does a person need to go fucking absolutely over the top? No, my dad said, he, he told me he used to play uh, in the marching band when he was in school. And, uh, you know, he, he, that's, that's about all he did, so he didn't really... I mean, I guess he's a musician, he played the drums, you know? Yeah. You know, a lot of people aren't fortunate to be able to do what they like to do, but fuck, you know? Well, then don't do it. Try, just do some, try something else. Um, what was it? It was an old... It was like, fuck, I can't even remember the year of that thing. I borrowed it from, the, from uh, junior high school, from sixth grade. They had a little band there, and they had an old gold sparkled Ludwig kit that was pretty wild, um, and that they let me borrow. I remember for a weekend, man, and, and that weekend seemed like, seemed like a month to me, man. I never had a drum kit, and here this thing was a school let me borrow for like the weekend, and I played that fucking thing all day, all night for the whole weekend. It was badass. That's the coolest, man. That is, that like blows your mind. You look out there and everybody's like singing the words. You go, fuck, I mean, I get fucking goosebumps, man. Totally. I fucking lose it, man. I start, I start fucking like getting excited and like thinking about it and looking at it and stuff. And I fuck up songs. I forget where I'm at because I'm so excited. You know, it really it fucks me up sometimes. It's really a blur. We did it so fast. Fucking so green, man. I didn't really have a clue. I just knew I dug the music, and I just went in the studio, put my headphones on, and beat the fuck out of the drums and played the music, you know? Had, like, a really good time. And we'd never done one before, so you're just tripping out. You're so excited to be in the studio, and before you know it, it was over. And I was like, wow, it's over. And I didn't really try... I didn't grasp it, you know? I was so excited to be in there, I didn't really notice. Went to an Ozzy Osbourne show a couple of weeks ago, and uh, Gene Simmons was standing there from KISS, and I go, dude, fuck, if you only knew, you know, I was a little fucking bonehead, you know, <clears throat> sitting in my bedroom at home, and I bought a KISS Alive album, and I opened it up, and I fucking just went nuclear, man. You know, I was like, who the fuck are these guys? And, um, I, you know, I put on the record, and I just tripped out, and I told him, like, you know, that guy changed my life, you know, and I'm sitting here talking to him, and he's going, wow, that's wild, man. You know, like, he couldn't even really relate to it. It was fucking bizarre. Pretty bizarre conversation, actually, that we had, you know. But, uh, he's a real cool guy. It was fun. But that's really... I, I, I bought a Kiss record, and um, I started beating on cardboard boxes. You know, I didn't have drums yet. And I just had set up as many boxes as I could and turn them upside down, and they sounded like drums. They worked, you know. It was cool. Well, are we having fun yet? Are you enjoying this video? Are you ranking the fuck out of it? I thought so. Yeah, I got, I got out of a few hobbies. I, you know, I get frustrated or, or uh, you come into the studio here and nothing really, nothing really comes out. You know, I'll get on my bike and my dirt bike and take a blast, get out of the room for a while, take a big fucking speed putt, you know? <laughs>